Hello, kitty corns. Well, Cat popped a tire on the curb at the apartment complex. I had been over at Starbucks working on things. I sent a reel of video work off to a guy, so hopefully that will bring some... Pokemon Go has updated their terms of conditions. Hopefully sending off my reel will bring some work our way. So, I'm about to walk the mile and a half to the house, which is roughly estimated by Google Maps as a 30 minute walk. Shouldn't be too bad. Nice breeze going on. Probably some rain headed in soon, but that's usual. We are in Louisiana. But I'm checking Pokemon Go. I wanna make sure that I have egg incubators running while I walk. I have a 2K egg, two 7K eggs, and a 10K egg all in incubators. Oh, and another update. I'm currently listening to the book, I Will Teach You To Be Rich by Ramit Sethi. We were already doing a lot of the things he suggests. One, we don't have a ton of credit cards. We have one that both of our names are on. We pay most of our bills through that credit card and then it's paid off immediately, if possible, which builds up your credit. I think Kat still has some student loan debt out there, but mine is paid off. Sorry, Dr. Tip. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor and this video is not intended to be financial advice. Anybody want to buy me a boosted board so I don't have to walk like this? Or a one wheel? I do have a skateboard in the closet at the apartment. It's not doing me any good right now. And I'm back to the apartment complex. From here at the entrance, we're all the way in the back, so it's like probably five more minute walk, but almost there. Sun is going down though. Pokemon Go has recently reverted to where it's actually really common Pokemon showing up again for both Kanto and Johto, which I'm a bit more excited about because I wanna try out some uh, mass evolving and uh, trying to quick level up by doing so. This building on the other side here is a Pokemon gym and Mystic is currently holding the gym. So I'm gonna put a Pokemon on it and hopefully earn some gold overnight. There's the flat tire. You put a spare tire on, how do you feel? Uh, like mosquitoes just had dinner on my back. Did but you... yeah, I learned a lot. What'd you learn? <laughs> Uh, what the shiny tools in the back of my car do. If you ever need to change a tire, you don't have to be super strong. You can literally let things fall out of your car onto the ground to get the spare tire to the front. Two, everything has instructions on it. And three, when loosening your lug nuts, stand on the bar. Just stand on it. Cat cap at first was like trying to like move it with her hand and then she was pressing with her foot I was like no I'm literally telling you to stand on it and so finally she just stood on it and then after a second whoop, each lug nut came loose so that's my tip <laughs> 